Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about how I buy my Disney items from eBay, what I type in to search for them, the keywords I use, and basically just any tips and tricks I can think of that I can pass on to you that will hopefully help you with your eBay purchases in the future. A few things just to say before I start this video. Yes, I'm wearing pyjamas. These Little Mermaid pyjamas from Primark are the best things I have ever bought. And if you see them, you should definitely pick them up because they are just wonderful. Also, yes, I'm wearing another floral crown. I absolutely love floral crowns. They are my favorite summer accessory. I think they're so cute. And now that the warmer weather is back, you will be seeing a lot of those. Also, I am so sorry that this video is so much later than it was meant to be. I had originally planned to put this video up last week with it being filmed and edited and for another video to be in between that one and the one before which was a haul video but everything just became so chaotic. I was so busy the last few weeks that this is the first time I've actually been able to sit down and film properly so sorry about that. Hopefully moving on, I should be able to get you a video a week. The last thing I want to say before I start the actual video is that I have something super exciting to share with you. It will be at the end of the video, so keep watching throughout and then you'll find out what I've got planned and how you can be a part of it. Tip number one I have is to know everything about the product you're looking for. Doing your research is crucial when it comes to eBay buying because there are thousands of listings and you will just get lost in amongst all of them if you don't know what you're looking for. Occasionally yes I do type in Disney soft toy or Disney plush or Disney store and I just have a look through the pages but that's only when I have time to kill and I really am not busy because that will be incredibly time consuming for you. So it is always best to know what you are looking for and the best way to do that is once you see the item that you want is literally to Google it. Google as much as you can, find out about the item, and you will be surprised how quickly you can work out exactly what the item is, how much it ranges from price-wise, because when it comes to eBay, you don't wanna be ripped off. So knowing the prices of things and how much they tend to go for is a really important thing when it comes to Disney products because Disney, for the most part, only goes up in value once it's no longer in the shops. One of my favorite Disney items in my entire collection is my soft toy of Nana, the dog from Peter Pan. And she is also incredibly popular on my Instagram page. Whenever I post a photo of her, I always get comments and direct messages asking me, where I bought her, how much she cost to me, and where someone else can find her. Now, I did my research before buying Nana, and it was like a year in the making of me finding a photo of her in the first place, knowing that's exactly the plush I wanted, and learning as much as I could about her, and then just waiting, literally waiting for her to be available on UK eBay. And that is what I did, and that's how I got her. So this is Nana. She was a US exclusive along with the entirety of the Peter Pan soft toy collection. Um, I'm sure if you follow my Instagram for a long time you will have already seen that I have the Lost Boys which I also bought alongside Nana from the same seller. Now I had notifications set up for Nana on eBay. If you type in the search bar anything. So for Nana I had Disney Nana plush and I also had Nana soft toy without Disney in the title because sometimes people do not put Disney in there. That's just how people write them. Um, and then you can press follow this search. It literally comes up just below when you type it in and it means that you get email notifications every time or once a day, once every few days when people upload new items. Now she was not cheap and I knew she wouldn't be cheap because typically the prices I saw on eBay and other sites of her, they were quite expensive and I'd put money aside. I had the money ready for about a year because once I saw her I knew I wanted her and I had to wait about a year until one popped up that I could then bid for. And I got in quite a bidding war for her. I mean, she is absolutely stunning. She's in pristine condition. Her tag is still attached and it's not bent or anything. She is absolutely wonderful. And I was honestly willing to pay 
a lot more than I did for her. I think with postage and packaging, she did come to around £50, which for some people would seem ludicrous. But for me, she was what I wanted and I'd wanted for a very long time. I'd put money aside. You know, you could easily spend £50 on a pair of shoes or a handbag. I just happened to spend it on soft toys. Everyone's different. Tip number two I have for you is that people call items by different names. So, for example, I bought a Little Mermaid mug a few months ago. It's brand new, in its box, absolutely stunning, and I managed to pick it up for £6, when typically it usually goes for about 30 Now, the reason I managed to get this mug for £6 is because the seller did not call it a mug in the title, she called it a cup. This is said mug that cost me £6. It is my favourite mug out of my whole collection and I have been wanting this one for a very long time. So the fact that I managed to find it was a bargain in itself in my eyes. And to then pay only £6 was just the best day ever. And the reason I managed to pick it up for £6 and I was the only bidder is because I knew to search for different terms. When you buy something like a mug, people call them by all different names. So yes, cup is another one. I've even seen them being called glasses and containers. Just never know what people are going to call the item and it really helps to know the different names for things that people commonly use and search for them as much as you can. Tip number three, moving on from the terminology, is that people misspell things a lot. The amount of times I have seen the word Aladdin spelt with two L's and one D is crazy. And because people misspell them in a way that eBay won't pick it up um, as the actual word they're meant to be, you can find quite good bargains from people misspelling things. If someone misspelt Ariel by switching around two of the letters, that's just like a stroke of the keyboard, they've been typing too quickly. eBay usually does then funnel it still into the correct spelling. With the word Aladdin, if you put two L's and one D, that is an entirely different word. So eBay is going to put that under that term with that spelling. So there's quite a lot of people that spell a lot of different things incorrectly and if you spell a word wrong but it looks like another word or you've spelt it so incorrectly that it's just incoherent then you are not going to sell your item for as much money as you hope and for buyers that means you can get quite an easy bargain. Tip number four is mostly to do with Disney characters and it's that people who sell Disney characters that don't necessarily collect them or know who they are, may not list them under their correct name. When you've got a really popular character like Tigger, you will find that pretty much all Disney soft toys that are tigers, like Shere Khan and Raja, will be listed under the name Tigger. And usually, from what I've noticed, it seems to be charity shops that then sell the items on eBay because they know they can make more money for the charities don't realise what character they're selling. So you may find Shere Khan being listed under Tigger, in which case you would be able to pick him up for a much cheaper price than if you type in Shere Khan and that's who you're looking for. Because Shere Khan and Raja, both tigers, both much harder to find than Tigger, who is pretty much everywhere. Uh, the same goes for Copper from The Fox and the Hound. I've seen him listed as Lady from Lady and the Tramp quite a few times. And you'll find that is quite similar with a lot of the dogs and cats because there are pretty much dogs and cats in almost every Disney movie. Tip number five is something that I always do. When I find an item that I want, I bid straight away and I bid the maximum amount of money I want to spend plus a pound or two or five depending on what kind of item it is. So when I found Nana I bid straight away, there was still probably about six days left of the listing but I bid straight away with the price that I was willing to pay for her and then I went a little bit over that price because that way if anyone bids higher than me I will feel fine. I won't be upset because the price I wanted to pay, I even went a bit higher myself 
and then someone else has bid on top of that, I don't want to pay that much, so that's fine by me. I do not bid in small chunks like a lot of people do because I always am ending up being disappointed. I miss out on the item or I'm not quick enough or I can't quite work out in my mind exactly how much I want to spend. So as soon as I find an item I like, I bid immediately no matter how much time is left and I will bid the full amount that I'm willing to pay plus a couple of pounds more. So that is how I do my eBaying and I have done for probably about two or three years now and I honestly pretty much always win the item because I know how much I want to pay and I put in that bid straight away whereas a lot of people use eBay as I mean it is bidding so people are still like doing it properly using the bidding system but they're bidding small amounts above the minimum spend so if the item is already at £10 then they'll put in £10.50 or £11 whereas if I wanted that item and I was willing to pay 20 I would immediately put in 20 and then add a couple of pounds on so 22 23 and so if someone then bid after me and it was at £10 and I was the highest bidder and they bid 11 or £12 nearing the end of the auction, I still am going to win because I put in that much higher bid much early on and secured my place as the highest bidder. Tip number six I have for you is pretty much how I get my bargains. And when I post pictures of items and I say to you, wow, I only paid 99p or something similar, those items are generally items that I had not gone out to buy, but I saw them on eBay, they're in great condition, most of them still have their tags on and they are at a really low bidding price and it's almost near the end of the auction or they're on a buy it now or best offer and I can't resist a bargain so when I bought very recently my Goofy with the baseball outfit he was 99p on eBay bidding and I put in like £1.20 or something because I was not after him he wasn't a soft toy that I had purposely gone out to find I just happened to stumble across him by accident and I really liked him uh, he wasn't something I needed or really really wanted so I only wanted to pay a cheap amount of money for him anyway but he started at 99p and he ended up ending at 99p and that's how much I paid for him because no one else bid on him and that is usually because the items are quite obscure or like Goofy is quite popular um, there are a lot of Goofy items, a lot of Goofy plushes so things like that tend to sort of get lost in amongst everything else and I found him because I was looking for the other Safari type uh, Minis and Mickeys because I've already got one and I think I typed in Safari Goofy just to see if they had him, which they did, but the prices I was not willing to pay. But there was just a random baseball Goofy just sitting amongst it. So I really found him completely by accident, which happens with a lot of my soft toys, I have to be honest. And I thought, yeah, 99p, I'm willing to pay that. And I ended up winning because no one else was searching specifically for Goofy in a baseball outfit. Tip number seven is check eBay regularly. There are items listed pretty much every second of the day. So search as much as you can if you're looking for a specific item. Set up notifications if you're looking for a specific item. Follow the search um, and all the keywords that you can think of in different variations. And just try to keep your eye out, to be honest. I mean, I go on eBay if not every day, every other day, just to have a look because I'm always looking for specific soft toys and Little Mermaid pieces. Please remember that people call items by different things. Soft toys are also known as plushes and cuddly toys and stuffed animals. You just never know, so do try and remember to check as many different terms for the word that you're looking for. And if you are looking for specific characters, then try and have a look on Google so you can see what type of characters and what um, versions they have. Because if you're looking for, say, a Nana plush, you're not going to find too many different variations. Whereas if you're looking for an Eeyore, 
then you're going to find a lot. So it's always best to know what you're looking for beforehand and Google images are literally full of billions of images so you will be fine, you'll definitely be able to find what you're looking for and then once you do you'll have the research and you'll know what to type in eBay to find it. I really hope this video was vaguely helpful. It is so difficult to pinpoint exactly how I use eBay and what I do because I'm not even thinking about it most of the time, I'm just typing and scrolling and then I'm quite lucky. That is the other thing with eBay, it is mostly about luck. So try and follow the tips and tricks that I have offered in this video if you want to try and get some bargains on eBay or if you're already doing well on eBay then let us know in the comments what you do differently or what you do that's helped you out because I'm sure everyone would really like to know. Now to the super exciting news I have to share with you. I am running my first ever giveaway. I was going to do one a little while ago but I could not think what to buy for the giveaway and then when the Alice in Wonderland Simpsons were released I absolutely fell in love with three specific characters that I decided to purchase an extra one of each to give away to you guys. So here they are. I have got the Mad Hatter, the Dormouse and my favourite which is the March Hare. This giveaway will be a crossover between my Instagram which is Disney Collector X and my YouTube channel. So what I will need you to do to enter my giveaway is to make sure you are subscribed to this channel and you follow me on Instagram which is Disney Collector X, the link is in the description. What you'll need to do is once I have posted the giveaway picture on my Instagram along with all of the rules and terms and conditions you will like that picture, make sure you're still following me and comment in my Instagram comments with your YouTube account name and then on this video down below in the comments I will need you to comment your Instagram name so I can cross check them and make sure you are subscribed and followed and everything's all groovy and yes I did just say groovy and for an extra entry into the giveaway you can repost the image from my Instagram account all of the information will be on the image and everything will be all listed below so you'll be able to read the full terms and conditions once I've worked it all out and everything should be super clear. If you've got any questions or you're unsure of anything, just pop me a message via my Instagram and I'll be able to answer it for you. The giveaway is open worldwide, so anyone can enter. You must be over 16 to enter, or if you're under 16, you must have your parents' permission, because of course, if you do win, I will need your address. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you enter my giveaway to win these three cute little characters and I will see you very, very soon. Bye!